stylish, luxurious, elegant, not us, I mean, like, no, really not us, but two of the world's finest GT cars. What have we got, mate? We have the tweaked Aston Martin DB11 now in AMR form and the new Bentley Continental GT. Now we suspect both of these cars have had a very similar design brief, and that means they must be the best GT cars they can be, which means they need to be fast, they need to be luxurious, and most of all, they need to be desirable. So we're going to spend a bit of time in both of them and find out which we prefer. Now, if you like this sort of thing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you turn on notifications, you will never miss a thing. And so we'll start our road test inside the Bentley. I'm a, quite a big fan of this car. Yes. Generally. Um, yes. So tell me about it. Well, um, the first thing you need to know, Matt, is that I've got a really bad back and this has not aggravated my back one bit. In fact, so the comfort's good. quite pleasing and the comfort is outstanding actually yeah the comfort is outstanding it's a very easy thing to drive yeah. um seating position is brilliant um everything's in a straight line if i was in a lamborghini uh, i'd be all skewed off oh, okay. you, wouldn't, back, but you wouldn't be able to get out i wouldn't be able to get out no yeah. so everything's in a straight line my legs are straight my hands are straight my head is straight um and it's a very very nice uh place to be engine wise uh we've got the six liter w12 mm -hmm. 626 horsepower and 660 four pounds foot of torque. Wait, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got this weird kind of ticky noise. Can you hear that? I can. I don't know, that doesn't sound... It's funny, isn't it? It doesn't, it's not an induction noise, no. and it's not uh, an exhaust noise, like and it's not a tapping noise. No, right? fuel injectory, I don't know, it's weird, it yeah. must be injectors. Um, but it's got plenty of shove, I don't know if you can hear yeah. the noise. Well, I mean, it's got plenty of shove. It's got plenty of shove. <laughs> and it is funny that um, it's, it's a massively, massively complicated engine because yeah. it's got port injection yep. for low speed, low yep. revs, yep. town stuff, and then it's got cylinder deactivation, so it'll cylinder run on deactivation, cylinders. and it's got direct injection yep. for uh, higher power, uh, higher power big stuff, throttle openings, big throttle openings, yep. and then so the so the melding of the two, it's just I mean the whole thing is complex car, yep. isn't it? So it's dual, dual clutch transmission, dual clutch transmission, yep, four wheel drive, four wheel drive, fast, yep, limp to slip, yep, and yeah. Bentley, yeah, and Bentley are quite um are quite shouty that it's quite a mobile chassis, oh, okay, and you can put I don't think they say quite 100 percent of the power to the rear, but oh you're right, but yeah, 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 they do it say it can go up to like 90 yep, odd, isn't exactly, it? Yeah. yeah, um and it's a great GT car, so I got in it this morning with a full tank and it was saying 515 miles. That's cool. If you're yeah. going to sell me a GT car, I don't want to have to stop after 300 miles to get fuel. No. And um, even if people go, oh, you'll never do that much in one I, hit. I, well, I you will. Might, I mean, yeah, a, yeah, I, I will, will but yeah, also, yeah. If, even if you're not doing it in one hit, yeah. the fact that you only have to go to the fuel station once a week exactly. rather than once every yeah. three days Definitely, is quite yeah. a big, is make quite a big yeah. difference, and I, I think, doesn't I, it? I hate flying, and if I was an exec, the kind of guy that, would, that maybe would drive this car, um, I would take this thing on on the shorter plane journeys. And that sounds yeah. ridiculous, but if I was going up to Edinburgh and back, I would absolutely draw rather than take the train. Yeah. If I was going to Munich, Frankfurt, I would absolutely drive rather than take the train. And 515 miles could definitely get me to get Frankfurt there, on one yeah. tank of fuel, yeah. yeah. Which would make a massive difference to my journey. Um, uh, so that's a big GT plus to me. Yeah. What do you think of the interior? I think it's absolutely oh, it looks, beautiful. I think it's yeah. lovely, mate. I think it's really nice. Yeah. It's. Uh, I've had a look around the factory and I've seen where yeah. they stitch the wheels together and it's yeah. it's beautifully done and we'll yep. come to the Aston on that in a minute but you know the stitching on the steering yeah. wheel? So they've got a, a steering wheel, well they've got a stitching department yeah. right? and when they come to the steering wheel, the people who do it, they bring in a fork from home wow. and they prick round the edge of the rim so that you so you go like that yeah. and then you move on to that one, you do that, you move on to that one, do that. Yeah. So depending on the fork that they've brought in, that dictates how far apart the stitches are. Well, you so, they're, so, there, yeah, so they're so their own. Per, so yeah, so so basically, if they bring a different fork, it has different stitching. Wow. It's a proper luxury car, isn't it? Yeah. And they're, um, I mean, when when you talk to some Bentley people and you talk about luxury and you mention Mercedes, they go, mm, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. this is a different. This Absolutely. is a different class, isn't it? And yeah. I, but because it's luxurious, because it has to do 200 miles an hour, because it has to be. a GT car. It's Cause heavy. Because it, it has to do too much. Yeah, what was it? Two, 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 four, five. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. Yeah. It's um discovery weight. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's discovery quoted weight. Discovery I quoted think, weight. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, actual discoveries end up yeah, bit, quite bit, a bit, in yeah. our experience. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, very much but, so. Yeah. yeah, but you're right. That is that's a lot yeah. of. I mean, it's incredibly capable yeah. given the girth. Absolutely. Just ask Nissan and their GTR, you know? Yeah. He, um, they stand by the fact that the heavier car uh, leads to better dynamics. But Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He, to be fair, a heavy body yeah. does give decent ride quality. It's got it? beautiful ride control. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, I, I, I just sat on the motorway and it was, you know, one thing, I, the tyre noise, it's got loads of tyre roll yeah. on, on the motorway. Um, but just in terms of its body control, 
Um, it's really, really nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's um, when the cars weigh that much, they've got the tendency to, to well, run away of the springs. But this doesn't yeah, that's absorb. right. Yeah, exactly. So you get so you get the benefit, don't you? That that it absorbs bumps because it's less easily deflected. Yeah, but you're, exactly. yeah, you're right. You end up sometimes yeah. with that thing. But I think with the we're in Bentley mode, aren't we? Yep. Of the adaptive. That's their recommend. Yeah, so cameras. Bentley recommend. They've got. Oh, that's their recommend. Yes, setting, exactly. And I. Quite cool. I mean, yeah, it is quite cool. You wonder why. Oh, that is no, I, I do wonder whether they do. They bother with any others because yeah, exactly. the engineers know what's best. Yeah, but definitely. Yeah. I think I don't know if I mentioned the steering. It's, um, it's yeah, not cool. particularly communicative, but it's mm. nicely weighted, um, and it's nice and progressive as well. Yeah. Uh, and it suits the temperament of the car. To be honest, you don't want a hyper alert steering in a car like this. That's one of the things that would prevent something like an F, an eight twelve superfast being as nice over distance yeah, for me as something like this. Definitely. Just you know, I mean, I, I like you know, it makes their car feel very agile yeah. and everything, but. It's just a bit too much for it's me. It's back to I being think. able to relax, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it'd grow on you, but I think you're right. I think just jumping in. I'm going to change the setting, mate. I'm going to stick it in comfort. Okay. See if you can notice. Now, quite often, what I look. I find they do that a bit more. The whole car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, but also, on the moment you change, yeah, what they tend to do is they. Oh, no, that doesn't make a big difference. Yeah, that is yeah. yeah, a difference. Um, the engineers set it up for an overshoot, don't they? So if you go into firm, now sport now, yeah. for a few seconds it goes rock hard, and that. then it gradually winds it back, winds. just so that you notice the difference. Okay, wow. um, which is a, quite an interesting yeah. trick. You can feel the imperfections of yeah. in sport now, definitely. Yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, definitely. You'd leave it in Bentley, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd leave it in Bentley. 98% of the time? Yeah. Unless you go on a track, and who would ever do that? I know, exactly. Ask me if I've taken one on track. Have you taken one on track? I have taken one on track. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? It's actually all right, yeah. Actually, so have I. Yeah, yeah, it's early, yeah, it was an early, it was an early, yeah, it was good, I yeah. did like it. And it's, uh, to be fair, for me, it was at that sort of stage, you go, oh, it does rotate. Yeah. And, but also, uh, where you go, how, how do you do this with 2.3 tonnes? Yeah. The Bentley is a terrific car then, so how will the Aston shape up against it? So Matt, tell me yes, about welcome this lovely to my abode. I like this car. Yep. Um, I, I'm not mad on the square steering wheel, no. but it's suede covered. Noisier to you, does it feel, than no. the Bentley? No, it doesn't actually. Do you think? It feels more... It I feels firmer. It, did. I mean, it feels think, firmer. Yeah. And I'm in, so I'm in the softest of the damper okay, settings. that's interesting. And that's where I'd leave it. Yeah. Uh, I'm in GT mode on the... Um, these, these buttons could yep. be a little bit... Nice, yeah, they? When you come out of the Bentley great. and it's got yeah. those uh, organ stops and it's got the wood everywhere and it's yeah. got the leather and it's got the aluminium, yeah. this for me feels a bit more. Uh, when I say mass market, I don't mean that in a bad yeah. way because I because actually cars that are mass produced are yeah. actually really well screwed together, yeah, yeah, no, better, absolutely, better yeah. than most yeah. luxury cars, I would think. But there is a little, it, it's a little bit more ordinary yeah. because I, there's more visible plastic. I feel there. like I've come two grades down from a car. Oh, really? But in, I don't know what would make the Bentley not feel like that, to be honest. Because yeah, it's that is such true. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, I, th I feel in terms of just just the, just how it looks. Yeah. Um, like I say, like a, a much more mainstream car. Yeah. It's not to say there's anything wrong with it. It's lovely. No, no, no. Um, it is. It is. It is. It's, and it's just. I don't even feel that the way it just goes through that corner and stuff like that it just it's really, nice. it's really yeah. well controlled isn't it and you're right firmer yeah but is that is this a no carbon question. is this a monocoque chassis in this thing what is it is it a carbon it's an aluminium is aluminium it, monocoque is it okay mostly. right I I like it it's yeah. does it feel narrower to you than the definitely yeah, yeah yeah but interestingly and I, we haven't, and I quite touched like elbows, yeah. we haven't touched elbows we haven't touched elbows and these seats are really comfy I didn't think they were going to yeah. be they actually fit the contour of my back. Yeah, same way. Perfectly. Here. And they're narrower than the Bentley, yep. there's no question. Um, it's a it's a more it's funny, it's 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 a more sporty yep. car. Yeah. But I don't feel that comfort has taken a massive no. dip as a totally. result. I yep. can still yep. I could still spend a long time in it. Yeah, I agree. But you're but you're definitely right, it's it's a lower perceived quality standard yep. than the Bentley, isn't it? So these dials here which is a digital display which is fine mm. I like a digital display but there are colours on there I remember getting my first ZX Spectrum in yeah. about 1984 1985 yeah. or whatever and it had these little names on the top of the keypad to, to yeah. make colours cyan and magenta and I'd never heard of cyan no. and magenta before this blue that's all Spectrum Sick. cyan that isn't it and it's just it just can I show the viewers me. my retro uh, calculator watch no, calculator which calculator is too far off the from, front of yeah from <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the 80s yeah. and it just it just <laughs> It's just not quite as luxurious, no, is it? And I think, I, agree. I mean, yeah. that's but fine, it's nice. It's doing, yeah. it's doing other things. Yeah, but do you know what? I've, I feel that the actual shell is stiffer, which means they haven't got to go crazy with the dampers. Yeah, which is why it actually rides really nicely. Yeah. I feel it's got a nice. 
Yeah, I think it's a nice balance. Sure. So this is a the DB11 AMR, right? Yep. So they had the DB11 launched with the V12, and it was just a little bit loose in some yes. of its body yep. settings, yep. wasn't it? So they brought out the V8. I drove a really early one, yeah. Yeah, I did, and I and I, there were things I liked about it, yep. and I thought this is amazingly agile for a car of this kind, but it also mm. just had some weird movements. Movements. It would do a corkscrew it. thing. It would yeah, do a that's weird, right. Yeah, if yeah. you put the power on, it would kind of yeah, exactly. It would almost lean onto that a bit too much onto that yeah, kind of onto that loaded wheel. Rear. Yeah, yeah. And they sorted that out for the V8. Yeah. And then they've they've changed the V12 to make it. Otherwise, the V12 was pointless, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So it's the AMR. So it's a bit more tied down. But in tying it down, it feels to me that they haven't really lost any of the comfort. No. And they've ramped up the control, and it steers fantastically. You know how the old Vanquish and the Vantage V12s yeah. and those absolute peaches used to steer. Yeah. And this is not as good as those, yeah. but it's it's, it's closer good. than I yeah. have experienced in. Maybe any other of the latest, and you know Astons. what? I think this. I fear this has got the the element that this has over the Bentley is that sportiness. Yeah. So this is more of a split personality car. Yeah. But while it doesn't lose, I don't think it doesn't lose much, if anything, to to the Bentley in terms of refinement. Mm. I think it gains an element that you want it to have a bit of fun. Yeah. I think the fact that it's rear wheel drive, the fact that it's nearly 500 kilograms lighter. Yeah. Um, similar horsepower. Yeah. So this exactly. is 630. That's so, 626. Yeah, exactly. More, so actually. although. Yeah, because the Bentley's got faster than 0-60, isn't yep. it? Because it's four-wheel drive. Only by point one, one, of point one of a yeah. second. I suspect, uh, you know, off the off the throttle, right yeah. from a rolling start, yeah. which is which is what all your acceleration is in, this in the real world. This will be quick. Yeah. So the numbers are very, the numbers are very very similar. So um, 208 versus 207 top speed. Yeah. Um, 0 to 60, the Bentley is 3.7 compared to this at 3.8. These, these are their quotes. Top speed 208 versus 207 uh, horsepower, 630 v 626. There's nothing in it. So nothing in it at all. But uh, this is nearly 500 kilograms lighter. Yeah, that is a big, that um, is a big, which is, that is a big which difference. Is a big, big difference. And I think this. I mean, I know it's got a V12 with two turbos, but it's yep. still. I think. I think the engine must be lighter. Yeah. Even well, mm, I don't know actually. 5.2. Really uh, yeah. But what I like about it. Is uh, it's got our old speed auto yeah. rather than twin clutch, but it makes it still makes a really yeah, nice noise, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean that's uh, yeah, that's a good noise. Doesn't sound as good as the old naturally aspirated. Well, it's not. It sounds better than the light. Yeah, I think this sounds nice than the actually. Yeah. Just the way it flows between yeah. corners, I think it's nice. I don't think it needs a twin clutch transmission. No. I think the the Bentley's got it because the Porsche had to yeah. have one, didn't it? Yeah. So, yep. and it's not. Necessarily always suited to a luxury no. car, and it's lighter. Clutch. You know, without a twin yeah, clutch, yeah, it's yeah. lighter. It's this is lighter. Light, this so, is lighter than the twin clutch. And, and it, this changes up quickly enough. How yep. quickly do you need to change? And Great. on downshift, if it's not as if it's not as quick, well, it doesn't it doesn't matter because yeah. you're braking and you're revving anyway. So the, actually, the downshift yeah. time is is fine. And it and a modern auto locks up so quickly, it feels to all yeah. to all purposes like a twin clutch yeah. to me. It's just I think it's a good. What I love about this ergonomically, and some of the ergonomics are not as yeah, this is a bit this, fiddly, this yeah. is a bit fiddly mm. compared, and it's, it's not the latest generation Mercedes yeah. infotainment, so it's you know it's a couple of gens behind. But what I like about this, right? So the paddles stay attached to the column, yeah. So they're always where they are, which I which I like. But also an extended pull. Now I'm in drive. Perfect. Yeah, that's now nice. if I pull that, now I'm in manual. Okay, manual. And that's just. Why, yeah, why all autos are not yeah. like that? I have no idea, but it's. Yeah. A, I think that's a really good thinking. Yeah, really clever move. What do you think about the? Uh, I mean, I know this is not an option, but what do you think about the? I nice would. I I might not spec it myself. Yeah, bright yellow stripes. But um, you know, I like the fact that they run a race team yeah. and they run, yeah. remind you of it. That's yeah. to be said for that. And I know that absolutely. Yeah, I think it's and quite. In terms a, of the tri- in terms of the trim and everything else, it's not. I don't think it's Bentley standard, is it? No, but. No. It's. I think it's good. Yeah. Oh, one thing I will add. Yeah. This car has got the coolest tyre name ever. It's on those 007s. 007s. Mate, and Aston on 007s. That is cool. That is pretty cool. So it's your money. Uh, which are you going to have? Uh, I really like the Bentley. Um, it does so many things so well. But I just think that the added level of dynamics that you get from this car yeah uh, you don't lose hardly anything um, in terms of comfort to the Bentley yeah. so I think th- the major plus point for me is that this thing just feels a bit more sporty yeah um, and I, yeah, I know no you're not gonna be going crazy and no I was gonna be doing massive power slides but it is that much lighter um, so it's that much less corrupted by the weight of the car yeah um, and I think it just gives it the edge to me so I think this has got a bit more of a split personality um, 
which oh yeah, I'd, take, I'd take the Aston. Yeah, I agree. I would as well. I think the, we lose a bit of range. This has got about yep. 350 yeah. miles, which is... Oh, I did mind about that. Not ideal, I didn't mind yeah, about that. But I, I agree. Uh, I think on most other... And, and I love how luxurious the Bentley feels. Yeah. But I think on pretty much everything else and the things that matter to me yep, as definitely. a driver, yeah. uh, this gets my nod. And yeah. if I really want something with a massive range and a low big ride, I'd have a diesel range. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, yeah, this does satisfy my my needs of you know. It's, it's, mate, it's luxurious. It's it nice. Is luxurious. I could I could it's pass away the miles in this thing. Yeah, um, very. It, you know, it's kind of kind of if you were, this is going to sound silly, but if you were inclined to drive your GT down to Portugal, you know, holiday home in Portugal, yeah. you could turn up at Portimao in this thing and have an absolute riot. You're right. But that I suspect true. if you did it in a Bentley, yeah, you wouldn't have yeah, anything right. like as much fun. Yeah, you're but right. But you could take this on track and you would really really enjoy it yeah. it would feel like a proper sports or car or French mountain hill southern France exactly, or yeah. Italy yeah. or whatever yeah you're right yeah, yeah you're right you this would, would turn on in a way that the, the Bentley wouldn't yeah I think that's absolutely true and it would be comfortable enough yes on down there and back yeah. there you go what more do you want from a GT car so if you like yeah. this kind of nonsense we have more of this kind of nonsense every week we've got reviews drag races news car shows all that sort of thing so if you up thumb subscribe turn on notifications you'll never miss one thanks for joining us and we will see you next time bye bye